Cohen ne fa e te uta la ta fa bukuri kama ta pe me a pe ko ta mu a nga we a ko ni ko le le mo ta po ki mo mo nu i a ma pe a pe amen ko te ma o ya na pe te o na a ke lo te ka ti u ma pe me a pe ka ya mo nu i a ku ke to fa nga nga a ko ni na ma pe me a Morning. <laughs> te te rabe ke fa e ko na o mi ko fa e ko ni ko fa e tu bo o tu ko fa e ko ni i pe te he ma suta ko hono hospitality ko ta ma ta ko lo a ia ko fa a pe pa che ka o ke ta ma langa ko ri ko pa na o ka ge na wi lo ele a fa to ma o va ampe ko ko pie ma o ke fa no ta mai ki to to bo e kon au to le ka ha o nga o e a e ki pe ha va ko se ni to ha o se ko no i nga e e ma la nga fa to nga e a nga e ka ta to na ta wi to ma ko te se le ta ta fa na o to bo e a me ni ka The beginning of motherhood is at home. All of your, all of your joy, all of your blessings, all of the good things in life, is, is found in the home. Because of the mother. And today we celebrate the role of the mother. And I will preach today on two different mothers from the Bible. I'm going to preach about Naomi and Ruth. Naomi is from Bethlehem, Judah. Naomi is from Bethlehem, Judah. And Naomi was married to Emelech, who was a rich guy. And as they were living in Bethlehem, there was a famine that fell on the land. And they have forgotten that they were the blessing of God. And so they left Bethlehem because of the famine to go look for uh, food in Moab. They went to go look for um, food so that they can survive in this time of a famine. And and the land of Moab was not part of God's blessing. And so they went from where God's blessing was, the land of blessing, to the land of death, Moab. And so they, they've forgotten that they lived in the land of blessings 
and Judah. And so they went to Moab and they took their sons, their two sons. The two sons were Malan and Gideon. And they went to go stay in Moab. And Moab was a land that God had already condemned. Can any one of us tell us today why Moab was condemned by God? That's right! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! <laughs> the Bible school that we are doing is, is a effective. <laughs> A little, bit of, little bit of history of Moab. Moab was a place that um, Lot's daughters settled in after they escaped Sodom and Gomorrah. And so, and so, um, these two forgot the blessings of the land that they were living in, and they went to chase. And so when they went to Moab, they, they found two daughter-in-laws to marry the two sons. Mm. And the first one, her name was Opa. He, she was married to one son. And Ruth was one who married the other son. And so these two mm. wives were from the children that God had condemned. And so if we look at the example that Naomi, uh, Naomi uh, represents, she forgot about God and His blessings. But praise God, because it said in the Bible that Emelech uh, passed away, and then Malan passed away, and Gideon. So the husband and the two sons passed away. Hmm. And so Naomi felt the urge to return home because she was uncomfortable and she couldn't find comfort in the land of Moab. And so as she started her journey back home with both her daughters, Opa and Ruth, and they only told both of her daughters, you guys return to your own homes. 
Or she mentioned to them that she doesn't have any more sons to carry on the uh, responsibility of the sons that she lost. And, and Opa uh, cried and she uh, said goodbye to her mother-in-law and she returned home. But Ruth continued to follow Naomi. Naomi tried to encourage Ruth to return, but she was overpowered by Ruth's will to follow Naomi, and she mentioned to Naomi that wherever you go, I will go. Whatever mm. God you serve, I will serve. Amen. I want us to understand this statement that she said. She is a child from a condemned land. God is not a God of favor. He is a God of righteousness. He is a God of justice and He will use the curse for the things of righteousness. Hallelujah. Amen. And so on uh, on the Mother's Day, we all tend to remember the time when we were in our own homes with our mothers. And it says in the Bible that uh, Naomi stopped trying to send Ruth her, to her own way, and so they sojourned together back to Judah. Amen. 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 Church, I want us to, to focus on this that we should rejoice because Naomi, uh, Naomi remembered the blessings in her own homeland. And so that's what encouraged her to return. Amen. And today is a day where we return home. The day of the mother is a day to return. Home. I saw them on the news the other day, all the soldiers who were returning from Iraq, and the scenes that they were showing was of sons who returned to their mothers, and the crying and the joy that they had as they reunited. Oh, yeah. Amen. Children. Children, when you fall into trouble, in the day you fall into trouble or you fail and you remember your mother, return home. Yes, amen. God had blessed the son. And 
Amen. God has blessed the prodigal Amen. son when he remembered in the in the pig's pen of home, of what he had at home. And that was his breakthrough. Amen. The breakthrough in your blessing is at home. It says in the Bible, children, that you need to obey your parents in the Lord, for this is good. And if you want to live long, listen to your mom and dad. Amen. Amen. Blessings come from home. Amen. And when they returned uh, to Judah, the whole city celebrated. And they shouted and they said, Oh my gosh, Naomi has returned. And in the presence of the people who are rejoicing over her return, she told them, don't call me Naomi anymore, call me Mala, because I have I have gone to Moab with my hands full and it came back empty handed. Mm. <laughs> Children, take this uh, agony that we remember home and that we return to where we belong. Naomi had a wisdom that only came from God. Amen. And they went on their journey with Ruth. And as Ruth saw the empty hands that they had had, she was urged to go and find something for them to eat. So she asked Naomi if she can go and glean behind the gatherers in the field. And so we look at this mother, Ruth, who loved her husband so much, and the same love she also bestowed upon her mother-in-law. And so when she asked her mother-in-law, it wasn't because her mother-in-law asked her, it was on her own will that she wanted to help her mother-in-law. This is a loving mother, folks. And this is also a mother who does right. And so Naomi told Ruth, Okay, my, my child, go. And so she went into the field and she followed behind the cleaners. And, and she collected uh, wheat from the field so that she can make food for her mother-in-law. And 
And as she was collecting, the owner of the field named Boaz saw her gleaning. And Boaz asked his workers, Who is this woman? I have never seen her before. And so his workers, the cleaners, told Boaz, This woman right here is a... a is from Moab and she came with her mother-in-law Naomi. Our God is not a choosy God. And Boaz came and introduced himself as the owner of the field, and he told her to go ahead and, and glean from this field, collect whatever she needs from this field, and don't go to any other field. And he also told her that where the well, the water well is, she is welcome to drink when she needs to. And so Boaz told his gleaners to drop some of the wheat or, or some of the product that they're gleaning and so that Ruth can gather a lot. And so when she returned home, Naomi was surprised at how much uh, Ruth brought home. Amen. And, and Naomi asked Ruth, where did you get all of this? Uh, whose field did you go and collect it from? And Ruth mentioned to Naomi, I got it from the field owned by Boaz. Boaz is the kinsman of Naomi. So we bring these two mothers here today as an example. The first one is Naomi. She has wisdom divinely from God. Amen. When it came into when it came to trouble where she lost her husband and her two sons, she knew exactly what to do. Return home. Amen. Folks today, church, we need to return home today. Hallelujah. Our, our thoughts will go back into our lives to when we uh, grew up in our mother's house. And just to think about the opportunity to grow in the presence of a mother is a blessing in itself. Amen. Children, don't take it lightly that you have a mother. It is a big blessing that you have a mother. All the good things that she tells you, and you believe it, that is where your success comes from. That is your success in this life. And so, uh, you already know the story where Naomi and Ruth and, and God gave Ruth uh, knowledge 
uh, towards marrying boys. Our God is not a picky God. He will choose the Moab. He used the sinner for what is righteous. And, and the Bible said that uh, Ruth and Boaz, um, they uh, begot a child and his name was Obed. And Obed uh, brought about Jesse. And Jesse is the father of David, King David. And King David Amen. is the bloodline where Jesus Christ comes from. Amen. Our God is not a picky God. He doesn't make mistakes. The time when you choose to make Jesus your Lord and Savior in your life, you become an heir to the kingdom of heaven. Church, there is a big opportunity and a blessing. Soon, Jesus will come and take his people home. And Jesus, he, he will come not for a particular denomination or a particular church. He will come for you and me. You here today, you are the church of God. And so God promises, Jesus promises that he will come and we will be taken up with him in the rapture before all of the tribulation and all of the wars that we hear in the Bible and before he comes down on Mount Olive. And that is the opportunity that is the opportunity and blessing we have. And when we call on the name of Jesus and when we accept Jesus in our hearts and that is and that is what makes you the church that Jesus wanted to take. And it is not it is not the Pentecostal that Jesus will come to or or Mormon, or whatever denomination it is, it is the church that he will come to, which is you and me. Amen. And so Jesus on the cross, he said, it is finished, it is complete. And that is why me and you are alive and have salvation today. Amen. Today is a day where we return home. Today, mothers, on Mother's Day, I want us to be encouraged to return home. Hallelujah. And Jesus on the cross, he, he spoke to Mary and he said, uh, Mary, here is your son, John. And then the same, John, here is your mother. The importance of what a mother is. It, no matter what, return home, mothers. Home is where your blessings are. Home is where your peace and joy is. 
home is where everything is. Children, take this as a warning. When you go and you sojourn and you live your life, and when you fall into the pit, remember home and return. Let us learn from the mother Naomi, who, when she reached that time of trouble, she remembered home and returned. We are reminded from Naomi the wisdom from God that she received. Amen. And we learn from the mother Ruth who had unconditional love towards her mother-in-law and also who obeyed God. And so Ruth is where the bloodline of Christ comes from. God Amen. is not a God who is picky. He chose Ruth the Moab. May we all be blessed from the message today. Oh, hey.